cruise news time and we've got updates from the big three norwegian cruise line carnival cruise line royal caribbean and we've got to make our way back to the north sea where we have new video of the rogue wave hitting a cruise ship there plus a passenger speaking out cruise news and my views let's talk about it Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face. For your face on Saturday, the 23rd of December, December 2023. And we've got a little bit of uh, uh, positive cruise news, and then we've got to talk about this rogue wave incident that continues to play out as we have close to 400 people trying to get off the sea and get back to uh, get back to land. First cruise news story I want to talk about today is the date. This is the beginning of service for the Carnival Jubilee. That cruise ship will be loaded with paying passengers today in Galveston, Texas, and they'll be taken off to the Western Caribbean, inaugurating that cruise for the very first time. Very excited. We've got some members of the Loca fam, uh, really the head of our Texas chapter, Matt and Slinky. I talked to them this week. They're super excited about this cruise, and they got touched by the upgrade ferry. They were in an interior cabin on the Carnival Jubilee, and for no extra cost, they got upgraded to a suite. So uh, they've been living their life right, I'm assuming. I don't, I've never been touched uh, in a positive way. I've never been touched by the upgrade ferry. And um, yeah, congratulations, Matt and Slinky. I hope you have a good cruise. Our friend Derek from Island Time is on that cruise. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there cruising on the Jubilee. Hope you guys have a great inaugural kickoff sail away. Cruise news story number two. Let's do one of those new cruise ships going to a new cruise port for the first time. This time we're talking about Norwegian Cruise Line's Aviva. It's their newest cruise ship, and it's made its first port stop in Barbados. Barbados. I've made no secret about it in the past. I enjoy it when a cruise ship goes to a new cruise port for the first time because they have a big ceremony. They exchange plaques and awards that you'll be able to see on the walls of the cruise ship, and it's just one of those cool maritime traditions that I'm a fan of. That might be kind of cool. We, we need to do something like that when we maybe meet other cruisers, have some sort of uh, coin exchange, or I, I don't know, uh, just just spitball in here, but I uh, wanted to bring it to you. For all you NCL fans out there, the Viva in Barbados for the very first time. Cruise news story number three, Royal Caribbean's newest cruise ship, the Icon of the Seas, is finishing its preparations so that it can get to the United States and start its sailings with paying passengers. And one thing that it had to do is it had to get plants had to get plants. If you've ever been on one of these large Royal Caribbean Oasis class cruise ships and now the Icon class, they have this huge Central Park area that's filled with live plants. They have a whole horticulture team. And while the Icon was primarily built in the Meyer Turku shipyard in Finland, that's not the best place to onboard plants that need to stay alive on a cruise ship. The best place that they've decided to do it is in Cadiz, Spain, where they have onloaded, onboarded 10,000 plants for the Central Park area on the Icon of the Seas. So the, the whole horticulture, I just want to say horticulture a lot. The whole horticulture team is now in full effect getting those plants in place as they finish the preparations on the Icon of the Seas. Our buddy Don Terrace will be on the Icon on January the 20th. I can't wait to see what's going on on the Icon. Um, yeah, a lot of, lot of stuff popping off. Now, let's jump into an update to the Rogue Wave story. And let's just go right back to the North Sea. Let's go right back to the Hertegruden cruise ship MS mod that was hit by a Rogue Wave in the North Sea a rogue wave that rendered that cruise ship disabled. Uh, we've got video coming from the cruise ship. I'll just remind you quickly what happened. Rogue wave crashes into the bridge of this cruise ship, breaks through the glass. It soaks the navigational equipment, uh, rendering that cruise ship unable to navigate from the bridge. They did have some engine room navigation possibilities, but it sounds like there was also trouble with the stabilizers. Let me show you the video that was displayed by the Daily Mail website. And then I also have an update from a passenger on board who left a comment on yesterday's video. Uh, let's look at both of those, but we'll start with the video first. So this is the bow cam of the MS Mod. Uh, just a few moments before the 
the rogue wave hits it. This is really, I've, I've watched this video a few times. It's a, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty trippy. Let me just we'll move in on it here. Uh, wait for it. This is crazy. This is in the North Sea, off the coast of Denmark. Here we go. Holy moly. It's a crazy video. It shows you how quickly things can turn. One moment you're kind of just bobbing up and down in rough seas, then all of a sudden you find yourself a target of a huge wave. I did get a couple reports about this incident yesterday. One was from someone whose friend's parents were on board, and then I got a comment from somebody who is on board. Let me share both of those with you. The first one here, my mate's parents are on board MS Mod, the Norwegian ship. She is currently moving under her own power, 10 knots. She was using her pods for some time. The tow line snapped while they attempted to turn the ship. I was speaking to my mate and his parents directly late last night and into the early morning here in the UK. They were very concerned, frightened even. A massive tanker positioned itself to protect the mod from the waves as the stabilizer was is broken. They were on an expedition in the Arctic Circle and they were returning to Tilbury Port near London. This was the final leg of their trip. And, and then we had this comment from somebody who was actually on board, currently on the MS Mod. It was a bit scary, but the crew and expedition team were fantastic, made sure everyone had their survivor suit and life jacket on properly, provided water and sandwiches. Captain kept us informed of everything going on. There are injuries, but none are life-threatening. Doctor checked in with every passenger this morning to make sure that they were okay. Tugboat arrived around midnight, but too dangerous to attach tow line. Could see other ships in distance coming to help if needed. Tow line secured this morning, but once the ship was turned around, it snapped. Ship is able to proceed on its own, but very slowly. Tugboat is traveling with us as it will have to tow us into Bremerhaven port in Germany. Still working out logistics to get everyone back to London on the 24th. Next cruise canceled. Feel sorry for the passengers who were looking forward to their Christmas cruise. I know I will play closer attention during the muster drill when more than a life jacket is involved. An experience I will not forget. Gosh, I, I really feel for those folks. That sounds like a cruise experience that none of us, uh, hopefully none of us will have to go through. I did do a quick check of Cruise Mapper this morning and it does look like the MS Mod is getting closer to Bremerhaven in Germany and hopefully getting to a positive resolution of this incident. I think it was 222 passengers, 131 crew members on board, almost 400 people. And uh, I'm, well, this, I'm glad nobody's injured. This will be a great story to tell. But wow, I, you know, that's uh, part of that cruise life, I suppose. Uh, glad everything is working out well for these folks. Uh, what do you think about this story? Does this uh, concern you or not concern you? Does this make you feel a way about cruising or not a way about cruising or being on the sea? Leave a comment below. Quick reminder, if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in cruising, well, then I'm your man. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell on. If you enjoyed the show today, please hit the like button on the way out. Tony for La Lita Loca. Till the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Cruise.